So, the present perfect or the present perfect continuous tense. Have these two tenses got you a little bit confused? Well, it's not surprising given the fact that we use them both for finished and unfinished actions depending on the context. And sometimes there is also very little difference in the meaning. So it can get a little bit confusing as to when there is a difference. So in this video, we're going to look at five of the key differences between two of these rather tricky tenses. I'm Sabra, welcome back to Love English. If you haven't already guys, then make sure you do subscribe, hit the bell, and also follow us on our social media. Right, let's get started. So, in these sentences here, there is actually very little difference in the meaning. I've lived in Bournemouth for 10 years, I've been living in Bournemouth for 10 years. There's actually very little difference. I've been studying French for 15 years, I've studied French for 15 years. Again, very little difference. However, there are some areas where there really is a difference. Before we get started, guys, let's just do a quick review of the form. So the present perfect is have or has, of course, if it's in the third person, he, she, or it, plus the past participle. So have being the auxiliary and the past participle being been, gone, taught. Uh, if it's a regular verb, it would be ed ending, so danced, listened. So basically the third form of the verb. Now with the present perfect continuous, you need have or has, as your auxiliary, and then you will also need been, because it is the form of the verb to be, as the, the continuous tenses use a form of the verb to be, and then you need your verb in the continuous form, so your meaning verb. For example, I've been doing my hair, or I've been creating a lesson for my students. So that is the difference between the two of them. So the first difference is that because the present perfect continuous is a continuous tense, it does focus more on the action, and it also suggests that the action is repeated. So it will tell us that the action has happened a few times. Not always, it depends on the context, but it can do that when it is compared with the present perfect. Let's look at an example. I've spilt my coffee. I've spilt my coffee. Not a very good thing to happen, I've spilt my coffee. This has happened once and I'm saying, oh, I've spilt my coffee. Present perfect is used because it's only just happened. We still have the results of the action. So we would focus on the fact that it's completed, but we've still got the result. I've spilt my coffee. Imagine if I tried to say, I've been spilling my coffee. <laughs> I've been spilling my coffee would suggest that you've done it several times, that actually you've been, you've been doing it repeatedly. I've been spilling my coffee, it emphasizes a continuous action, so it suggests that it's repeated. So that one would be a little bit strange there and it would not be correct to say that. The only way that you could use the present perfect continuous here is if this had in fact happened several times and you wanted to say, oh, lately I've been spilling my coffee a lot on myself. I'm so clumsy if this was happening repeatedly. So it emphasizes repeated actions when compared to the present perfect. Let's look at another example. I visited my daughter at the hospital. She's just had a baby. I've been there, yes, probably sometime today. I visited her, it's a recent action, but it's once and it's finished here. Compare this to I've been visiting my daughter at the hospital. If you speak generally, if you say I've been visiting my daughter at the hospital, if it's not just happened and you use the continuous, this in fact tells us that you've been doing it a couple of times, that you've gone several times. For example, if you said, I've been busy this week, I've been visiting my daughter at the hospital, it tells the listener this has happened several times. We wouldn't say, I've been busy this week, I've visited my daughter at the hospital. It doesn't suggest the same repeated action. So key difference number two, the present perfect continuous focuses more on the action itself and in some cases is less finished than the present perfect. The present perfect tends to often be used when we have just finished something, we've just completed it. That's why we use words like just and already with the present perfect. 
let's look at some examples. layla has been reading the book I recommended to her, all about how to be the perfect English teacher. Now let's compare this to Layla's read the book I recommended to her all about how to be the perfect English teacher. Here the action is finished. That is why Layla is saying that she wants to tell me about it because she's finished it now and she's made up her mind about what she thinks about the book. So here the action is in fact finished but it implies that it's only just finished. Another example would be I've done my homework, I've just finished it, I've done my homework or I've been doing my homework. I've been doing my homework actually suggests that either you finish temporarily or you haven't finished. If you say, oh, I've been doing my homework, I've been doing my homework actually suggests that you haven't finished it because if you had finished it, you'd say, I've done my homework. So I've been doing my homework is either that you're taking a pause and you're saying, oh, I need a break, I've been doing my homework or someone's asking you something like, for example, what have you been doing? And you say, I've been doing my homework but essentially it suggests to the listener that you haven't finished it yet. So you might say, I've been doing my homework, but I'm taking a break for dinner. The only way that it can be finished if there is still some of the effects of the action happening in the present. For example, you look tired. What have you been doing? Oh, I've been doing my homework. Here it could be finished. But again, we don't know. It's not actually clear whether it's a finished action or an unfinished action but we're using present perfect continuous because we still have that effect on the present. And if it definitely was finished, we would change to the present perfect. So these are little differences between the two tenses, which can get a little bit complicated. Key difference number three, we use yet and already with the present perfect simple, but we tend not to use that with the present perfect continuous. This is because yet and already are focusing on whether the action is finished or not. Have you done your homework yet? I'm saying, have you completed this action yet? Not, have you been doing your homework yet? We're not talking about the action being completed in the continuous tense. The other would be already. I've already eaten, thank you. We wouldn't say, I've already been eating, thank you. We would say, I've already eaten, meaning no thank you, I ate in the past, it's finished now. So also from these, you can see that the present perfect simple is often more finished than the present perfect continuous. And that's why we can use words like yet and already. But remember, whether the present perfect is finished or not, very much depends on the context. For Layla's complete guide to the present perfect tense, you just need to look up here. And we also have a video on a review of all the tenses. And if you want to see that, that's up here. So the next difference is that the present perfect continuous often implies that something is more temporary. We often use the present perfect if something is more permanent. For example, if you're working in a place just for three weeks, you probably would say, I've been working here for three weeks, not I've worked here for three weeks. The present perfect implies a little more permanence than the more changeable present perfect continuous tense. So if you say, I've worked here for three weeks, it doesn't sound quite as natural as saying, I've been working here for three weeks. Let's look at another example. If we say, Layla's been running, or Layla's been for a run, there's actually very little difference between them. Layla's been running, she's tired. Layla's been for a run, she's tired, that's fine. They're both actually finished here, or very much seems to be finished. But if I say, Layla's been running a lot lately, it suggests that it's temporary. This is a new thing that she's doing. She's been running a lot lately. I'm sure her husband would be very happy to hear that. So it suggests that it's a new hobby and we don't know whether she's going to keep doing this or not. It doesn't sound as natural to say, Layla's run a lot lately. If we want to suggest that something is more temporary, we tend to choose the present perfect continuous. Another example would be when we use words like recently, at the moment, again, we suggest something is temporary, so then we use the present perfect continuous. For example, I normally study at home, but recently I've been studying in the library because it's so much quieter than all the noise at home. Or I normally stay very safe with my cooking, but at the moment, I've been experimenting with more spices and chili. 
Right, we've reached the final difference. Okay, this difference is a relatively easy one. We can't use the present perfect continuous with state verbs. State verbs are verbs which imply a state of being. So these can be like, love, believe, know. Generally, we consider these to have a lot more permanence. Either you like something or you don't. Even though we can change our mind, it just doesn't go with the continuous tense. Either you know something or you don't. Either you believe something or you don't. It is on the whole more fixed and less changeable. We can't say, I've been knowing you for 10 years. I've been knowing you? We would just say, I've known you. Another example would be, I've believed in God for most of my life. We wouldn't say, I've been believing in God for most of my life. It just doesn't sound correct. Okay, everybody, that was the difference between the present perfect and the present perfect continuous tense. I do hope this video has cleared up any doubts you may have had and has clarified the difference between these two tenses for you. In the comments below, I've put a little homework question for you to do. So do make sure you try and do that and reply to me and see what you think is the answer. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.